video, I'm going to show you how you can build a quiz using one of my favorite funnel builder softwares called FastPages. Now, if you've never heard of FastPages, stay tuned because we're going to get straight into that. Welcome back to a DIY virtual tutorial. And in today's video, we're going to cover building a quiz. And if you're an affiliate marketer or someone who's trying to do some sort of a survey sort of thing, or you're just trying to do some market research, or you're trying to do a giveaway, or you're trying to collect emails, whatever you're trying to do, which is going to relate to some sort of quiz or something on those lines, this software is going to be able to do that. Now, I'm just going to say that when I first started getting into affiliate marketing and more specifically CPA marketing, um, one of the biggest things that I needed was a quiz like functionality because in the psychology of people's mind, you want them to be able to achieve something or qualify themselves so you can send them over to whatever offer you want them to go to and uh, there was very limited software on the market or when I say limited I mean reliable or easy to use lightning fast ones where you know you don't need to mortgage your house to pay for or you know spend weeks trying to learn it okay um, and the only other sort of softwares on the market that I thought was of any real use was in fact ClickFunnels. And if you don't know what ClickFunnels is, again, it's another sort of funnel builder, um, but they are very expensive. And when I say very expensive, I'm talking about $97 a month, or if you want the actual, the hardcore stuff, it's $297 per month. And what you can see here is with fast pages, it's $19 a month. Now, granted, they are fairly new and they haven't got all the features that ClickFunnels have, but the things that they're focusing on is speed and just ease of use. And they really are perfecting everything. So it's not glitchy to use and it's it's just really simple, okay? And uh, they have a really powerful quiz functionality, which is going to speed up everything you're doing and it's just going to save you a lot of time. And the thing, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, you know that I just get really excited over tools that work and just do a good job doing what they say they can do. OK, <laughs> so uh, I use this software and I'm going to log in to one of my demo accounts. But let's uh, let's just get started. I'm going to log in admin side. OK, so I'm in the admin side now and uh, this is what it looks like. You can see that you're not bombarded with a whole bunch of options and all sorts of things. And uh, just before you go off and go purchase fast pages, if you've not already got it, if you use my link in the description, uh, make sure you check out all the bonus content that I'm giving away to anyone who uses uh, my link to purchase it. OK, so make sure you don't miss out on my bonus content, which is going to include like affiliate marketing courses and all sorts of things. Uh, there's more info right below this video, but let's get into the nitty gritty. So I'm going to head over to projects and then I'm going to go ahead and click new project. OK, and now you can see you've got a whole bunch of templates. But did you notice something? The speed. OK, <laughs> new project. Boom. That is instant. OK, I, I've not come across a software that's actually comparing to the speed of this. So one of the things I'm going to just select is quiz. OK, because at the end of the day, unless you're trying to do something super specific, why rebuild the wheel? OK, just use a pre-made template and then just edit it to the way you want it to look. OK, so I've got a choice. I can either use this one. So if I click on it, you can see uh, this is the sort of layout, or if I return to blueprints and click on this one, this is also um, sort of layout. And I'm going to go with the first option because it looks a bit cooler. And I'm going to click on it and I press use a blueprint. OK, so now I'm going to title it. So let's just title it quiz. Quiz. Oh. And confirm. So now it's loading and boom, it's done. OK, so again, you're saving tons of time. You don't need to wait around for the software to load loads of things. It's just lightning fast. Now you can see it's already um, I'm just going to move my camera to the right here. And what you can see and my camera is now glitching. So I'm just going to close my camera now. There we go. OK, and let me just hide that. So what you can see is you've got all these options um, on the left. And if we go ahead and save, you can see we've got appearance, SEO settings, all of the stuff that you would actually want. And we can go ahead and do preview. And you can see you've got all of that. And if we publish it, publish project, and you can 
you know, use a uh, subdomain on all sorts of things, but I've only done this just so I can show you um, what it looks like on the front end. Okay, so here it is, we've got it. This is the already done for you quiz feature, but we're gonna go ahead and manipulate it now, okay? So let's go back to the editor. And I'm going to click on this element here because this is the quiz, uh, the quiz feature. And if I click on it, you'll see this little pop up and I'm gonna click on that. Now let's go ahead and enter a quiz name. Now I'm gonna nerd out on you. I I am not ashamed to say that I'm a big Dragon Ball Super fan. So if you're a little bit of a nerd like me and you're also into Dragon Ball Super, let's say you're running a, uh, you wanna start a Dragon Ball, um, a Dragon Ball store selling all sorts of things like that, then ideally what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, get people entertained, get their email address so you can start doing email marketing to them and start sending them all your new merch, okay? Because uh, in online marketing, every email that you have should be worth at least one pound per month to you. Um, and that's a minimum of one pound per month. So if you've got 10,000 uh, emails on your list, then boom, you just laughing really okay so let's go ahead and call this dragon ball super quiz okay and i'm going to create a quiz okay so now you can see and again it's just really simple you've got the three tabs question response and lead form okay so the first thing that we're going to do is create our first question and you can see create question here and there we go okay so i'm going to click on new question and i think the first question i'm going to ask uh, because this is a dragon ball super quiz, which is going to be something in the lines of, um, what is the God of Destruction name? Okay. And then I'm going to create an answer. And the answer is going to be Goku um, or Vegeta or Wiz or Course. Beerus, okay? And I know these are really funny names if you're not a Dragon Ball Super fan, but uh, Beerus is the God of Destruction. And what I'm going to do where it says no points, I'm actually going to change this to a plus one point so uh, we know that they've got it right or wrong and what's not. Next, next let's create another question. And uh, the second question is going to be, um, who, uh, what is the name of Goku's uh, son, okay? And uh, let's say, is it um, Krillin? Okay. And it's not Krillin. Is it Trunks? Or is it, of course, Gohan? Okay. And again, it is Gohan. So we're going to go ahead and add one point to it. And let's do a final question and let's call it who is Vegeta's son okay great answer is it Trunks um, and again I'm just throwing loads of names out there is it Margin Bill or is it Goten okay and Okay, and it is trunks. So we're going to do that. Okay, and now I've made my quiz. Uh, I don't want to ask them any more than really three questions. So let's go ahead and move on to the response. So you can do specific actions based on the points that users received. Your quiz has a minimum of zero points and a maximum of three points. So let's go ahead and create the logic behind it. So the logic is what do we want to happen afterwards? Okay, so if they score, let's say one point. Um, then we are off all three points, let's redirect them. And it kind of makes sense to um, do this because uh, we're, we're gonna qualify them. So we don't really want people who aren't like fans of Dragon Ball because they're just gonna be wasting our time. We actually want fans of them. So we know that they know the characters and they're gonna find it pretty cool, okay? Uh, so the message, uh, congrats, congrats. Um, here is a discount for Dragon Ball Super uh, top, 
okay? And then if we click on the redirect button, we can then redirect them to anywhere we want to send them. So I'm just gonna put in the URL of the landing page you wanna send them, which um, although I actually don't have a Dragon Ball Superstore, but I'm just gonna send them to my blog website, which is marchangman.com. Um, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do lead form. And you can very easily edit this form. So if you want them to submit a form first before sending them somewhere, then all you gotta do is click, and then you can see this pops up. And if you wanna add another field, click the plus sign, and then change it to last name, okay? But ideally, you don't really wanna be doing that. So let's just go and press the bin, and then click on this and press the bin, because we only want that email at first, okay? Um, once they become a customer, then we can get all the information that we need, so submit. And again, you can change the settings, the style, and you can you can even integrate this with any sort of email software you've got. Um, so if you use MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, or Moosend, but I tend to use Zapier, so all you do is create a webhook and then connect it like that. If you don't really know much about webhooks or Zapier, I do have another video showing how you can generate, uh, how you can create a webhook using Zapier and connect it to basically any form. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to sync anything because the software itself actually uh, does that anyway. Okay, so now we've got that. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go ahead and preview. And let's go ahead and publish. Okay, let's take this and refresh the page and there we go. So we now have this form. So the first question is, what is the God of Destruction? Well, uh, I'm just gonna say Beerus because I know it's Beerus. What is the name of Goku's son? And we're gonna say Gohan, okay? And who is Vegeta's son? We're going to say Trunks. So next and now submit your email and I'm just going to do hello. Uh, Com, submit and now you can see it's taking taken me to where I wanted to go and I'm sure you saw how fast that was it wasn't clunky it wasn't hard to use or anything on those lines but let's say you wanted to add a image to the form okay well this is actually really easy to do so again let's go back to the form click on this click this and where it says the image icon right here, what we're gonna do is click on that. And uh, I've not got any images to hand, but in the stock photos, which they very nicely uh, linked it together, I'm just gonna type in Goku, okay? And cool, we've got a Goku picture there. We're gonna move on to the next one. And uh, we're gonna go back and we're just gonna type in Dragon Ball Super. And hopefully it'll come up with something, nothing. Let's just try Dragon Ball, nothing. Okay, let's try Gohan. Okay, so we'll just include this one. So that's been added and now, uh, I don't know, we're just going to stock photos and we're just going to type in um, power, just for the sake of it, okay? So boom, just like that, great, okay? So that's been done, we've got the response in, uh, we can create different sorts of logics if we want to or remove it, but we're not gonna get into that because we just want something really simple. And the lead form is right there, okay? So that's all good. And uh, yeah, so, and again, if you wanted to edit this page or anything like that, it's so simple, just click on it, boom, and that's been done like so. So let's go ahead and um, save and then publish, okay? And let's go ahead and just Close that, take this link and paste this in. Okay, and now you've got the image there and just boom, boom. Okay, and we're just gonna go with this and we're going to enter this email again and there you go, okay? So that was pretty good, really simple to use and um, is just a really fantastic option if you are in the CPA game or you just want to capture information and then send it somewhere, okay? Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below and don't forget that I do offer bonus uh, courses and all sorts of things when you use my link to purchase Fast Pages, okay? So all the best and until next time.